What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome to the top five value center backs in FIFA 13. And before we get started, let me define the word value. That means players that are impactful performers. They're going to make a huge difference on your squad. They can be game changers, and they are very affordable, therefore, in turn, making them extremely valuable. First up, we have the honorable mentions. So these are the players that nearly made it into the top five. They just missed the cut. And yes, you're looking at a non-rare silver in my value center backs, we have Callus, who's an incredible player. He develops extremely well if you want to play career mode. He's young. He plays in the domestic Netherlands league. He's about six foot. He has a medium attacking, medium defensive work rate. He's going to cost you anywhere between 1,500 and 3,500 coins. I don't know why, but his price kind of varies on the market. And what makes him so special, outside of him being in the right place at the right time, making strong tackles, is that he's so fast. He has an 82 for sprint speed, 78 acceleration, 74 agility. He jumps well. He has like an 85 for jumping and the same for strength. So he's able to body people around. And he's just been one of my favorite players to use throughout this entire year, whether it's a silver or a gold uh, center back. So I wanted to mix it up and, and show you guys maybe a player that you're not that familiar with. Next up, we have the Colombian international, Pereira. And he plays in the Mexican League. He's going to cost you anywhere between 800 and 1,200 coins, so relatively cheap. He's 34 years old, which is crazy. He's got a low attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate, so he's going to sit back pretty well. He's not going to get all crazy out of position for you. And he's got three stat lines that just really stand out. They pop off the screen. He's got a 93 for strength, an 84 for sprint speed, 90 for jumping, and he has a 79 for acceleration. And when you're playing FIFA Ultimate Team, if you combine a pacey center back with strength, and he can jump and recover from mistakes in the air, he's going to be perfect. And the only reason that I don't put him in my top five is because there's a lot of great players, and he doesn't link up as well as some other players that might slip into the top five, just giving a little bit of some foreshadowing information. Rounding out the honorable mentions, we have Mingola from the Portuguese League. And what's nice about this dude is he is French, and it makes it very easy to link him up with a lot of different hybrid squads, slip him into a League One side. And he's six foot two. He has a medium attacking work rate and a high defensive work rate, which means that he's hustling back. And he costs you anywhere between 1,400 and 2,400 coins, so really reasonable in price. I see him in tons of different squads, so this should not be a surprise player for most people. He has an 82 for strength, an 80 for jumping, a 79 sprint speed, a 78 acceleration. He's not a stat room stuffer, but he's solid all the way around. He's very consistent and you can count on him to make tackles in big situations. Coming in at number five we have the heavily used Philippe Santana from Dortmund and he's six foot four. He has a medium attacking work rate, a medium defensive work rate and this guy is just powerful. He's gonna cost you anywhere between 3,000 and 4,000 coins and he's one of those defenders that's a big body defender. He just pushes you around constantly in the match. And he is very fast. An 84 sprint speed is disgusting. And he has a 90 for headers. He has an 83 standing tackle. His stats really don't stand out for you. But he's an overpowered center back this year. And he's going to make some things happen. You better believe it. Next to Santana, we have Ogbona coming in at number 4. And this guy is a complete center back. And he does have a transfer card, but I'm not really going to talk about it because I think it's more expensive, but it really doesn't change anything because he's still Italian. He still plays in Italy. Nothing's a really a big game changer other than he went to Juventus. So he's going to cost you anywhere between 1,500 to 2,500 coins. He has a medium attacking work rate and a high defensive work rate, which is always good. That's what you want to see. Six foot two. And this guy has so much power combined with pace, it's, it's pretty gross. It's going to be tough for oncoming strikers to body him off the ball and make things happen. 86 strength, 82 sprint speed, 88 for jumping. And I love that he has an 82 for interceptions. He just gets in the way and messes up a lot of through balls and passes before they even get started. Coming in at number three, we've got big man Day Day. And you see him combined with Philippe Santana in almost every Bundesliga sweat squad. And it's easy to match him up because there's a few Brazilian players in that league and you can slip him in. And this dude's six foot three. He's got a medium attacking work rate, a high defensive work rate. He's gonna cost you between three and four thousand coins. Very similar to Santana. It's just a matter of preference. He's got an 81 for sprint speed, an 80 for acceleration, a 90 for strength, an 80 for interceptions, an 80 for marking, and 84 for heading. He just keeps going. And I love using them. If you combine them with Santana, you've got two players 
that really kind of determine where the attackers are going to go and when they're going to go that direction. They are so strong and they're not to be messed with. That combination leads for a lot of trouble and that's why you see them matched up together on the regular. Coming in at number two, we have another Brazilian, David Luiz from Chelsea. He's six foot two. He's got a high attacking work rate, a medium defensive work rate. It's going to cost you between 2,500 and 3,500 coins. And this is the definition of an overpowered FIFA Ultimate Team player. He's got that S wine like feel to him, where his stats don't really pop off the screen, but the things he does in game is unbelievable. The interceptions, the power, the way that David Luiz tracks back is is amazing. I don't think there's another center back that recovers as quickly as as Luis. It's it's crazy. I, I feel like I'm in bad situations constantly, and David Luis bails me out regardless. Whether it's scoring goals in the 90th minute on corner kicks, or making crazy last stitch challenges, he he feels like he has unlimited flexibility too. His foot just keeps going, and he just makes incredible tackles. And there's nothing I can tell you on stats. He has an 82 for headers, an 82 for standing tackle, but everything else for the most part, is in that 70 to 75 range. There's not that much that's going to pop off the screen at you. And you got to have him in your squad if you're building a BPL side. If you don't have David Luis leading the charge as your center back, then you're doing something incorrectly. Holding down the number one spot, we have the surprise choice of the evening, Inkalu. And he's from the French League. He's a Cameroon international. He has a medium attacking work rate medium defensive work rate or cost you between 800 and 1200 coins and he's the fastest center back in my opinion out of anyone in the top five he's got a 77 sprint speed 79 agility 82 acceleration very fluid very smooth kind of feels as if he's an outside defender in terms of how nice he turns on the ball and recovers he's just a crazy nice center back He's got a 91 for interceptions, an 88 for standing tackle, 80 for marking, 80 for ball control, and that might contribute to why he seems to just move so much better than other center backs. 85 for jumping, 78 for strength. His stats just don't quit. This guy is a special player, and everyone should give him an opportunity, and I don't know why I don't see him in more squads. It's crazy. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike's9USA, and remember to let me know. Uh, below in the comments if you agree if you disagree i'm always listening for feedback and i have a lot more content coming to you asap asap